Okay, so I have finally finished sanding. Um, in between this uh, video and the last one I took uh, with the GoPro, uh, it's actually been a week. Um, it's uh, I've been on holiday for a week and I've come back and uh, I've checked over all my holes and there are a few that needed uh, filling. Um, again, just where like kind of the filler had sagged or something. So um, I, I filled in a few more sanded them down, checked everything over, and I'm as happy as I can, but I've also uh, quickly kind of uh, brushed down the walls and the ceiling and um, cleaned and hoovered the floor, and, uh, and I'm pretty happy. I'm in a position now where basically I can start painting. Um, it's as good as it's gonna get. It's, I think it's, um, the, the thing with, uh, just to, to front my line there, um, I think the thing is, is that um, this finish, um, this, uh, this plywood finish is, I think as close I'm gonna get um, to a, a nice smooth finish. Um, the, only, the, the, the only one that I would have that would be any better than this would be uh, if I was using um, proper, uh, proper plaster and proper plasterboard. Um, so I, I'm, as, I'm as happy as I can be really. Um, it's all pretty smooth. There's the odd kind of lump or bump kind of over here um, where, um, where the boards kind of meet, but overall, I'm pretty happy with it, and for my purposes, it's going to be absolutely fine. I think most of um, the, the the walls these are these are very smooth. There's kind of no lump or bumbery there at all, and the paint will uh, you know the filler's done a certain amount, and the paint will do a certain amount as well um, to kind of smooth everything out. But a lot of these, especially like this one, will be hidden by like um, you know TV and like a bench across here and uh, and stuff like that. And obviously, my desk will be over. Uh, this side and you know monitors will be here and all that sort of stuff so actually um, I, I think the majority of the, the kind of any areas where you know it's not quite as smooth as it could be um, are kind of any, any areas like that are minimized in kind of their issues so um, I am going to get painting and I'm actually pushing myself I'm going to try and finish this this week I've got a week it's currently Tuesday um, and I'd like to move in by Friday or Saturday morning, really. Um, Sunday at the very latest, but I'm, I'm gonna actually really push to see if I can move in by Friday. So that'll be painting this whole room, um, putting in the floor, putting in the electrics, putting in the network sockets, and moving all my stuff in, of which I don't have a lot of, actually. I, was, I realize I'm gonna have my, my desk, which will be over here, a couple of speaker stands, maybe a picture in, in, the, in the middle there. Um, and I've got like a little wicker drawer unit um, with my printer on uh, and my TV and stuff. So actually it's gonna be uh, pretty bare bones in here for a little while until I kind of work out what furniture I want. So it's just started to rain quite a lot. Um, luckily I don't have the problems I did in a, a few videos ago where I was trying to keep rain and snow off of everything. So I'm gonna get cracking, I'm gonna get painting.
yesterday. I basically did two coats um, on the walls and the ceiling. Um, I was hoping to just do one one coat, uh, and interestingly, actually, you can see on the camera the sort of bits where I uh, painted over the paintbrush um, on top of all the, the wood filler. You can't really see it in real life, but the camera's picking it up, interestingly. Um, yeah, I was hoping to just do one coat, but actually you could see the grain of the plywood. And I think the plywood, uh, you know, kind of soaks up the first layer of paint a bit. So um, I, I did a second layer and left it to dry overnight, and it's, it's a huge improvement. Um, so yeah, I'm really pleased with that. And that's ready for um, the, the, uh, the gray color that I'm putting on the walls. Um, you'll see I need to kind of probably just go over here, cut in again maybe, um, but I just rolled it and I didn't cut in again. Um, the second, second coat. Um, but the ceiling is looking great as well, I'm really pleased with that. So my tasks today are to, um, I won't over here, but, but this will be up behind the electrical box, but still I'll do that properly as well. Um, but my tasks today are to uh, complete the ceiling and cut in everywhere with the grey and um, yeah, hopefully that's, if I can get the walls done, great. But my priority really is getting the ceiling completed. Dulux's polished pebble. It's the same as the room that I'm in in my house, um, and it looks really good. There is um, a, in my neighbour who used to be a paint decorator helped me cut in, but we're just going to have to do a little bit again. There's been the odd bit that's sort of appeared lighter after it's dried, um, but yeah, I, I can't stand cutting in really. So uh, I mean, who does? But um, yeah, so she helped me do that. So that looks good. Um, the I've got to do another coat. There is the odd patch here and there. Um, so I'm going to do that this morning. I think she's going to help me again, uh, cut in uh, again today or tomorrow. And then it's on to the electrics and the floor. And I'm, I'm pushing forward. I'm getting closer to, to moving in. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm delighted. I think it's really coming together. It's, it's looking good. It looks really nice and clean in here. Okay, so my neighbour came around again today and gave me a hand with uh, uh, cutting in again. Uh, I've also done uh, another coat on the walls uh, and it looks much better as well. Um, the camera is obviously picking up uh, the slightly damp bits from where the cutting has been done. And also every once in a while you can see, you can just about make it out, there's a line across there where these are the two boards. But actually uh, for, for using plywood, 
for the walls. I think it's turned out really well. I think it looks great in here. And you can see I've put in all the back boxes for the electrics and the networking. Uh, and now my task is to reconnect up the consumer unit over here and then start connecting up all my electrics and then my network uh, sockets which all turn out over here. So that's my job for this afternoon. I've also taken the opportunity to paint the little uh, speaker shelves I had uh, in the same grey colour as the walls so I think they'll look nice uh, once they're up there and uh, it's certainly better than the plain wood that they were before, they look very unfinished. because it actually allowed me to put it back uh, together properly um, we already saw the connections in the same place I would never go back in there uh, if I was an electrician I would scream at the sight of what's inside it's an absolute sock drawer in there but it is all in and as far as I know it's it's all in the right places I've checked my video it looks fine all the connections are you know uh, held in place properly so I think it's all uh, kind of good. I'll test this out later. I've also finished putting in all the sockets uh, and the, uh, the this here and there's one down here as well are the fuse sockets, the outside plug sockets. And um, I've left them all open because I need to pick up some uh, earth uh, sheathing for the earthing cables. Um, so yeah, it's, it's looking good though. It's kind of long. It's amazing. Even just putting in the back boxes just started to complete the room. And I've just taped up the ends of the lights uh, and I've done that on the outside of the building and, and the uh, outside plug sockets as well because I'm not ready to put those on yet until I've uh, cladded the building which won't be for a little little while yet, a month or two so um, yeah it is coming along, I've got to do the networking next and uh, my light socket actually, uh, light switch so and this control uh, one light outside and the two lights behind me on the back wall uh, inside so that's my next job. Look how dark it is outside. I'm pulling a late one, it's 11 o'clock. And in the last hour and 45 minutes, I've only managed to do a single, a double, and one of the four network sockets. Um, I'm beginning to regret using the uh, external cabling for all 
uh, my cabling inside, I thought it would give me better protection because it's a timber building, but actually it just makes it a lot harder to work with. And you can see, because it's covered in this kind of um, Vaseline-y, jelly-like stuff on the inside, um, I, I can't help but get it on the walls, you know, whilst, whilst I'm working with it. Uh, even if I'm trying to be careful, so I'm gonna have to go around and top up with a just a paintbrush and stuff tomorrow, I think. But um, yeah, it's it's coming kind of along. It just takes a long time. But all the sockets are on now, bar bar that one, eight smaller screws for that one, um, and for that one as well. About all the sockets are on this TV socket out there, and uh, another network socket. This is my lights, which I'm I'm not gonna have for a couple of weeks. But yeah. It's kind of this board is actually finished, so yeah, quite a piece of progress today. This morning it was uh, I was applying one more coat of paint, and this evening I've got some network and I've got power. So yeah, carry on time. Okay, so it's the next day, and today I am putting down the floor, and I'm hoping to move in. Probably not moving in today, but uh, I've got about five or six hours to put down the floor. Um, uh, you can see where I've done all the electrics and the network sockets last night, which I know I mentioned in my previous video. But um, in the daylight, it looks much nicer. It's really coming together, I think. You can see the, the sort of splodge from the, the stuff from the cables there, a bit better in the daylight as well, which I'll cover up some paint um, in a little while. Um, I've decided as well that because I need to move in kind of in the next couple of days, really, I'm, I'm still on holiday this week, I'm trying to finish everything this week, because I need to move in, it's not essential. Uh, these network points over here, they're not essential. Um, neither is my point for the camera. Um, you know, neither is the one for the TV. Um, I wired this one in as like my test one, um, but actually that's not essential either. So I'm just kind of doing the essentials now. Um, the floor is obviously essential and getting the electrics and, and networking to the house is essential. So um, as far as I know, the top row is, is all that I need for the network and, and electricity all works, which is good. Um, I'm going to tidy up these sockets again today. Anyway, I've got uh, some foam underlays, like foam boards, um, which are quite big, which are going to go over all of this, which should um, act as my underlay. Um, I don't think I need a, a damp proof course or membrane because um, obviously uh, underneath this OSB is my floor structure um, and uh, that's all insulated and then all the, all the um, joists are taped up. So um, that acts as my vapor barrier, and it's the same thing with the ceiling. Um, the only reason I put a, a damp proof um, membrane in at all uh, into the walls is because my insulation didn't come up to um, you know, the, 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 the same level as the, as the timber studs. So I, um, I, I wrapped it all to ensure that I didn't have to do lots and lots of taping. It was just much easier to do it that way. So I'm gonna get cracking on the floor now and um, yeah, again, unfortunately, it's going to be more GoPro footage. I'm using my phone for other things the last few days, but um, hopefully you'll see it sort of come together and it won't take me too long. Mm -hmm. 